What's up, y'all, and welcome back to The Morning Vibe. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. Let's hit it with that intro music real quick so we can dive into today's topic. I think it's going to be a good one for y'all. i got a couple things to talk to y'all about, and we're going to dive right into what today's episode is all about. I promise you guys some big news, and big news you shall receive. So, hope everybody is having a great week start to their week so far getting this and upload a little bit late on wednesday i apologize for that um the morning vibe is turning into maybe an afternoon vibe an evening vibe i don't know um, i will tell you guys this um sarah and i are very very heavily considering we're, we're doing a lot of changes um in the content creation household that is cameraman ron and the pyt um and we got a, we got one announcement we're gonna let you guys know about today um we are looking at possibly be rebranding the morning vibe to a maybe a little bit more searchable podcast name um, we have not got anything set in stone yet we're just kind of kind of toying with some ideas of a name change still be the same channel um that you guys are watching on right now just looking at maybe doing a couple of things different um as far as names and things like that just to make it a little bit more searchable we are working on getting this put over on the podcast platforms that's happening literally as we speak we are we are in the process of getting these put on spotify apple music um, all the places that you listen to your your podcast on a day-to-day basis that way you're not just having to get to youtube Um, if you got spotify on your phone or apple music which you know most people do you're gonna be able to pull these podcasts and listen up listen to them as you're driving down the road. Um, another thing I really, really, and I've got several phone calls and emails and stuff out. I really want to get back into doing some more of these interviews with other content creators. Um, I really, really enjoy the the interview style. Um, so we've got, got a couple of calls out, got a few people lined up that we're going to be bringing in to do interview style podcasts with. I know you guys enjoy those. It's always good to see people from um, you know, other walks of what we're doing in the content creation world or entrepreneurs or, or just, you know, people in life in general. It's always really, really cool to, to bring those folks in and have the opportunity to speak with them, kind of get a, a taste of how they got to where they are, what it took, um, especially on the entrepreneur side. I think that's really, really important um, for all of us. And with, that kind of leads us right into today's topic. So um, we're not going to announce the big news until the end. Of course, you guys know that, but it's, it's no, nothing crazy, um, but it's kind of a big deal for us. So I just want to bring you guys in the loop on that. But today's topic, how do we make money as content creators? That's probably the number one question I get from people who are not content creators out of everything else in the world. A lot of content creators, they understand how the monetization works um, and how things happen. And keep in mind, guys, I'm going to give you a very, very like high arcing overview of this I don't fully understand like the minute details of it. I just have a general understanding of where our money comes from as a entrepreneur, as a content creator, because you have to keep in mind, once you monetize these channels, whether it be on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it is, it does become a small business at that point. That's what you're doing. You're running a small business. Um, the Cameraman Ron YouTube channel is a small business. The Morning Vibe YouTube channel is a small business. Um, that's what these are. We are here to make money creating content. And today we're going to kind of give you guys, just like I said, a high arcing overview of how that happens. Um, first and foremost, and what most of you are probably the most familiar with is ad revenue. And you don't even realize that you're familiar with it um, until somebody explains it to you. And what I mean by that is when those ads pop up and you're watching a YouTube video or a Facebook video or whatever it is that you're watching, once you see that ad on there, that's how we're getting paid as content creators. Not that you have to sit there and watch the whole ad. I get that that question more than do I have to watch the whole ad? I, to be honest with you guys, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, that's one of those minute details that I, I really don't have the answer to. Um, I know on Facebook, like they're really big on once they're once it pops and you see the ad, as long as you continue watching the video after the ad, then that ad counts. Now, I don't know if you had to watch the whole ad or um, the logistics of that. I'm, like I said, I'm not sitting here trying to you know spew information at you guys that I'm not 100% sure on. Um, but I am pretty sure with Facebook, if you keep watching after the ad, that gives them the credit for that ad. You don't have to sit there and watch the, the ad the whole way through. I'm pretty sure it's the same way on YouTube. If it was, I don't feel like they would give you that skip ads option um, that's there. <clears throat> I apologize. I apologize. I've, I've been battling just a a small, light, nagging call for like two weeks. It's been insane. I've been tested, checked for everything. Um, nothing major going on. Just uh, just a light, nagging cough that will just, you know, it'll get a hold of me every now and then. So um, ad revenue, how exactly does that work? Well, the simple question or simple answer to that question is advertisers pay YouTube or Google. Um, Of course, YouTube is owned by Google. They pay Google a certain amount of money. So let's say we are talking about cameraman Ron hats. Okay. We let's say I go to Google and I say, Hey, I want to advertise my hats on your platform. 
they're like, oh, okay, perfect. Well, what kind of what kind of hats they are? Well, they're fishing hats. Okay, perfect. We're going to take your hats and we're going to push them to people who have fishing content. It's going to be a very targeted audience. We're going to charge you a thousand dollars for an ad run to sell your hats. We shake on it. We make an agreement. We make a marketing contract, and we run with it. Now Google then in turn takes those hats, my hats. And we're just using my hats as an example, and they put those ads on cameraman Ron videos or fishing videos or Dar Sizzle videos or whatever they can. They're going to push those hats to that audience because they're fishing hats. They're going to push those fishing hats to a fishing audience, which is going to give them the highest chance to sell my hats. Now, with that money that got paid to Google, they're going to split that. They're going to keep some because you are uploading to their platform. And then they're going to give whoever they ran those ads on a portion of that marketing contract the money for it. So it's no different than if you see an ad on television. Um, if you go you know, watch any television show and you see an ad on there, a company paid to have that ad put on that television show. So those marketing dollars are going to the marketing company or whoever you know, it's, it's going to at that point with us half the, I, don't, I shouldn't say half. I don't know exactly what the split is. It's not, it's not 50, 50. Um, they keep a little bit more, which and this is not me griping that that's perfectly fine. They're the ones running the servers. They're the ones with all the risk they're covering everything as they should get a bigger portion of it. But Google keeps a portion of that money. And then they pass along a portion of that long money along to us. Now we get paid a cents per minute, um, or CPM, dollar amount. So it changes from every single video. That's the one thing where it gets really, really hairy. And I just don't understand because I will tell you guys, I have, I have posted two very, very similar videos. Like let's just use a bridge monster video. For example, um, I've posted two bridge monster videos back to back. They're very similar, very similar in length, very similar in content. Of course, I don't use foul language. I keep everything clean because that can affect your CPM. If you put controversial topics in there, if you're using a lot of curse words, um, all that kind of stuff can drop your CPMs because a lot of advertisers want to steer away from those type of channels. Um, so when we put this content up, it's asking us, you know, does it have this? Does it have this? You know, are you doing anything graphic? Um, and as long as you answer those, honestly, you're going to get an honest payout. The one thing I don't understand and what I've like done a lot of research on, and I've just not been able to figure out is where exactly does, where does the CPM come into play? Because my CPMs, they range wildly. I'll put out a video that will have a $10 CPM. Um, and then I'll put another video out that is very, very similar. I mean, just not the same video, but essentially the same video with different fish in a different day. And it'll get a $25 CPM. So I don't understand. I wish there was a better explanation of where those CPMs come from. I'm sure a lot of it has to do with ad dollars and how many ad dollars they have that day. Because obviously, if, you know, February and Jan January and February are always down months, but it's because marketers are not spending advertising dollars. So you're going to see a drop in CPMs during that time. So ad revenue, I don't want to drive too in cooks. I don't want to drive you guys crazy or make it boring, but I just, I want to kind of give you an overview of where the money comes from that we're, you know, doing these things with. So, because, because it is a business, it costs me money to make a video. So I have to make sure that I'm getting a decent return on the investment of that. Now, like I've told you guys in the past, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, it does balance out in the wash. I've had videos where they completely tanked and I made 50 bucks and, you know, I may have spent 70 to make it. And then I've had other videos where I've spent, you know, nothing to make it. And I go out there and it's a thousand dollar video. So it's just, it really, really like varies wildly on the ad revenue, which is why you see a lot of channels do sponsorships. Now that's the other place where you really, really can make your money in content creation and you can guarantee yourself money because there's no if, ands, or buts about that. Now, I don't do a ton of sponsored videos on my channel. Um, I do a lot of partnerships. You guys, have, I'll link a, a, a podcast down in the uh, box below. Sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought right there. Um, I'll link a, the podcast where I talked about the difference in partnerships and sponsorships. But basically, a sponsorship is somebody writes you a check to promote their product. A partnership is where somebody just gives you product just to use in your videos. Just a quick you know, rundown overview on that. But there's a lot of money to be made in sponsorships because they realize if they reach out to like me as a fishing creator and they're sponsoring a fishing product, they know it's going to a very, very targeted audience. So they're usually willing to pay more. Um, I just did a sponsored video over on the Cameraman Ron uh, channel for a Timu app. Um, that was a sponsored video. If you go back and you watch that video, it's got a little black box at the beginning. It says includes paid promotion. They paid me to talk about their product in that video. 
that is a way that we can make money. Now, I don't do a ton of those. Um, just one, because my audience is smaller and I don't want to overwhelm you guys with stuff. And I'm always more worried about building our brand than I am building someone else's brand. But the team, who, the team who folks were, um, relentless in their pursuit of content creators for the last three or four months. And I think it's just because that they really want to get that push before the last quarter, which is October, November, December. And that's when Christmas falls in. They want people looking at their app. So they're willing to pay influencers to put ads on their um, you know, their channels because they know they can hit a targeted audience. People that are looking for, you know, budget friendly fishing gear saw that ad, they're going to go to Timu and they're going to do that. So that's another way um, we get paid. Don't, don't hate on guys doing sponsorships because at the end of the day, um, there's no one writing us a check every day just to make these videos. So anytime we get a guaranteed income, you have to take it. Um, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I can take the money from that Timu app. Um, sponsored video and I can create, you know, five or six other pieces of content that I could put out for you guys. And I don't have to worry about that, you know, coming off the the ad revenue budget for, you know, next month. So that's, that's huge. So I know some people get all bent out of shape when they see an ad, you know, this video is sponsored by, look guys, it's a necessary evil for your favorite creators to keep doing what they're doing. Two other major sources of income for content creators. Um, the first one is going to be offhand i don't know what the exact terminology of this is for this um i should have called daniel and asked him what he would call this beforehand but offhand merchandise and what that is it means you're putting your name on something but it's not necessarily yours so like teespring um that's a that's the first one that really jumps out to me where you really don't own anything in teespring so the good thing about a company like teespring is you have no upfront costs associated with that. So if I want to sell Cameraman Ron t-shirts um, and I want to do it through Teespring, you're going to go to the Teespring website. You're going to buy a Cameraman Ron shirt. They're going to make it. They're going to assume all the responsibility for it. They're going to ship it to you. You're going to get a Cameraman Ron shirt, and I'm going to get a very, very small portion of the profits from that merchandise sale. Now, that's great for smaller channels starting out who has no merchandise budget or something like that, because it gives you the opportunity to offer your subscribers, your fans merchandise that you probably couldn't do in another way if there weren't companies like Teespring. I'm just using Teespring as an example because that's the one I use. Um, I know there's several different companies out there that do that teespring is just kind of the preferred provider of youtube like if you log on to a youtube channel and you see the little store down there below most of the time if it's a smaller channel that's going to be um, a teespring store is what they're doing great opportunity for people to make a little bit of extra money but you don't make a ton of money doing that um, which leads us to the next thing and that's going to be the hands-on merchandise sales which is what we do um, we were so so blessed to um, part of you know being really good friends with Daniel and DJ is they have a huge, huge on hand merchandise business. It's it's a straight up business. I mean, um, they do exceptionally well. But what they do is they they order their t shirts, they bring in a mass amount of inventory, they pay for that inventory up front, and then they sell those for a profit. And that is one of their sources of income for their YouTube channel. Now, there's lots of people out there that do that. Um, it's just a different beast when you're doing hands on. It's not something where, you know, you're, you're paying somebody else to essentially make your shirt and ship your shirt and all that, like you're doing with Teespring when it's hands on, like you're doing everything. Like if you order something from Arms Family Homestead, they're going to touch it. They're, they're going to physically have that in a shop. They're actually working on a big merchandise building now. Um, and they're going to physically touch that merchandise and they're going to ship it to you. They load it up in a truck and they go to the post office. Um, and there's another company that I'm going to talk about today that does that, that's doing that and really may have owned the, the world in, in their progress of doing this. And we're going to talk about them in just a minute. But the hands-on merchandise is another way that people are able to make money as content creators. You build an audience. Most of the time, that audience wants to support you. Um, it's just like when we did the crack. I'm looking at a crack of cold one shirt. It's hanging back there. I wish I'd have brought it back here just to show you guys. Um, then we've still got some of the Just Eat It shirts left. Those shirts were made for our audience specifically because they asked for them. I knew that I would be able to sell those t-shirts because people were asking me for those t-shirts from the word go. So we were able to offer those to our audience and we made really, really good money off of that. When you can do a run of t-shirts and sell them all, um, you, you can make really, really nice profits from that. 
Um, with that being said, that's that's kind of leading into the big news. Um, I'm I'm not coming up with anything that I'm selling you guys. I wish I, I wish I had. I wish there was something I could have thought of early on that I could have made a product, uh, much like what I'm getting ready to show you guys. But there's one channel out there right now. There's probably multiple channels. That I, I shouldn't say there's one. There's a channel that I feel like does this better than anybody else on the platform. And that's Andrew Flair. If you're not familiar with Flair or used to be fishing with Flair, um, he's one of the original Guggen Squad guys. Um, he was one of the owners of Guggen Squad. But he has used his platform and his audience to not promote products. Not He does a lot of sponsored videos, but he has done an amazing job of creating products and creating brands that he promotes on his channel now the most recent being if you guys are familiar with flair you know what this right here is this is the beefcake jerky company that's kind of his nickname he's got the beefcake construction company um he's got the beefcake uh golly like the beefcake jerky company they've got bucks they've got ducks of course i'm sure he still has his hand in Guggen squad some but he has done an amazing job like if you really want to look at somebody who has taken their audience and used that audience and that platform to not build brands for someone else, but to build brands for themselves. This is there. You don't have to look any farther than, than Andrew Flair. Um, from a merchandise standpoint, 100% Arms Family Homestead absolutely crushes it. Nobody, I don't know that there's another um a content creator on the platform that does the kind of merchandise aside, unless you get up into like the Mr. Beast and those guys, I, I mean, those are on a, a whole different level. Um, but as far as like in those, like not obviously Daniel doesn't have a small channel because he's got 850,000 subscribers, but I would almost guarantee you that if you looked at every channel with a million subscribers or less, there are very few that are selling more um, like branded merchandise than those guys because everything they sell it's arms family homestead creek life they've done a great job with their their creek life brand that they've been building um do your best dj has her channel um with all of her donkey stuff they do the donkey poodles the alpacas they've done an amazing job of selling merchandise and self-branding afh and do your best but then you come to somebody like flair and they've literally, I don't know, if you don't know the story behind Beefcake um, Jerky Company, him and his buddy Banjo and Jake, they started this jerky company. They've literally spent the last year promoting this. But they have, I think they've launched like, I want to say like four or five different times they've, they've dropped. And this is not a promo for Beefcake Jerky. I bought this. This was not sent to me. They, they, I, they sent it to me, but it's because I bought it. But again, it's hands-on for them. They're doing all of their own packaging um, as far as like shipping out. There's a company that's making the jerky for them. Um, but they're doing like they bought a warehouse and they're just they're killing it in the building brand side of influencers. And I think if you ever really, really want to make a lot of money in this industry, I think this is the way to go. I think you have to um, 100%, I think you have to build the brands that you can branch off from what your your namesake is, like a beefcake jerky. If you didn't know, like if you went into the store and you picked this up and you bought it, it, it when, it's, when and if it's available in stores, you would have no way of knowing that this came from Andrew Flair if you weren't familiar with the story. So they're building a brand that really has nothing to do with him as a person, but it's a brand that can be withstanding even if his content creation um, journey comes to an end or goes away. And that's almost the most reliable source of income that you guys can get from that. Now, with that being said, that's, I said that this was leading us into the big news. We're not selling beef jerky. I wish we were. I, like, I would give anything if I had been smart enough to come up with something like this um, and sell it. What we are going to be doing is we are starting one more new channel because that's just what we need is one more. This one is going to be a dedicated channel. Every video is going to drop on Saturday morning at eight o'clock. I already have the first 10 videos filmed for this, so it's not going to be here and there, but it is going to be a review only channel for whatever reason. You guys love hearing me talk about products. They tell me that all the time over on the cameraman Ron channel, um, but due to the algorithm and the way it works, I don't necessarily want to continue to just put review videos on the cameraman Ron channel all the time. I just don't think it's a great idea. I don't think it's great for the algorithm over there. So with that being said, we are going to be dropping a brand new channel on October the 6th. 
October the 6th. Mark it down your calendar. Make sure you subscribe. I'll, I'll blow it out on all the social media. media. We, we're pretty sure we have a name picked out, we think. But uh, I'm going to drop that about midweek because we're still working on a couple of logos. we got a couple of fine-tuning pieces to do. Um, the very first thing we are going to review is the beefcake jerky. Because these guys talk about how great this thing is all the time. Like, if you've watched Andrew Flair, they talk about how great this beef jerky. And, of course, they do because they're trying to sell it. But what we're going to do is we're going to be getting stuff like this in, and we're going to give you a real review of it to let you know if it's any good or not. Now, that's not me saying it is or it isn't. You guys are just going to have to tune in. Not this coming Saturday. This coming Saturday is September 30th. Next Saturday, October the 6th, is we're going to be launching the review channel pretty sure we know the name of it already i'll be dropping a couple podcasts this couple these coming weeks i got a couple guests coming in um but we're really excited one of the first things we're going to be doing over there on the review channel we are giving away an e-bike okay so th this is not a joke this is not a um maybe you could win we're thinking about it we're going to give away an e-bike i have an e-bike at my house right now that's in the box i'm going to take it out i'm going to do a review on it on that channel and when we hit a thousand subscribers on the review channel, we are giving that e-bike away to somebody. No questions asked. It's going to a new home. Somebody's going to get it. It's going to have about five miles on it um, from where I'm riding it to do, to do the review video. And that's going to be it. Um, so make sure you guys watch for all that information coming out this week. Guys, I truly hope this benefited you in some way. I get a lot of questions about the money side of this and about the business side of it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's one of those things that not a lot of people talk about because, you know, it's money's always a touchy subject. And I mean, I'm not giving you guys exact numbers or anything like that, but money is always a touchy subject as far as like how, where money comes from. But there is money to be made in the content creation world. Make no mistake about that. Um, 100%, you know, there is money to be made. So if it's there to be made, you might as well make it. Guys, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to rip open this beefcake jerky. This is the pork teriyaki. I'm going to give you guys a little preview of what you're going to be seeing on the review channel here in a couple weeks. I've already shot the video, so I'm good. I don't have to save any jerky for that. If I I don't know if I can get this open. What? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, y'all know. I haven't actually have not tried this flavor yet. This is the pork teriyaki. Is it as good as Banjo and Flair says? Hmm. Guess you'll just have to tune in next Saturday to find out. Guys, that's all I got for you today. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up. If you've not subscribed here to The Morning Vibe, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It means the world to us. Y'all find a way to make somebody smile today. You never know. It just might change the world. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care, and we will see you soon.